Hey everybody, hope you all are doing well and welcome back to Michael's Matters. Now, of course, as always, and as per usual, I am Michael, and today we uh, get into the month of February, which means millions of Americans, probably in fact hundreds of millions of Americans, are getting their tax papers and their receipts and their W-2s and their 1099s and all those other fun, exciting forms together to do their taxes. And it's becoming more apparent this year than really before is that taxes, well, they are going to be a doozy for a variety of reasons. But for those folks who had health care, either through their work or through a government program like Medicare, Medicaid, uh, or as it's called, Medi-Cal here in California, or through a health exchange like Obamacare or Covered California, then you are going to be needing one of the many versions of the family of forms 10 95 or possibly 8962 and specifically here in california ftb 3895 get your taxes done on time so if you're wondering what they are today i'm going to go over what are the 1095s uh, what is the 8962 or the ftb 3895 forms uh, what they do and which one you should be getting to do your taxes now, if you like these videos if you find them interesting if you find them helpful if you at least find them useful then please don't forget to like and subscribe. It really helps out the channel to grow and you'll also get notifications when our newest and most informative videos become available. All right now, let's get down to the video. Now, before we get started, first and foremost, uh, this is not tax advice. I'm not a tax person. I am a person who is taxed, <laughs> at least soon to be so, for April 15th. But I'm not a tax person, and if you want advice about your specific situation, there are lots of great places you can get help, even for free, especially if your income is on that middle to lower end side. Check out the VITA, V-I-T-A, clinics that are near you. They're free, and they are there to help you with your taxes. All right, so let's talk about this form 1095. So what is it? Well, the 1095 form is a form that is generated in order to show that you had health insurance coverage, whether or not it meets the full criteria of full coverage assigned by the Affordable Care Act, and in some cases, how much you paid for your health coverage during the year. This is important because if you got health coverage from an exchange like an Obamacare or a covered California, this form will be used to generate your 8962 form, which is a very important form, and we'll get to that here in a sec. So I'm going to go through these 1095 forms in alphabetical order because there are three of them. There is the 1095A, there is the 1095B, and you probably figured out there is a 1095C. The 1095A is a form that you would have gotten if you had coverage, even for just one month through the health exchange or through Obamacare. And this does not count Medi-Cal, so this is just if you got through the exchange. So if you got a plan through one of the various Obamacare exchanges or through Covered California, here in California, then the exchange generates this form and they will send them out to you usually by late January or even early February. If you didn't get one of these forms, you can log on to your account and retrieve it directly from your account, or you can call the exchange and they will snail mail you one. Or if you got help from an agent or a navigator or a community sister, they can also retrieve it for you as well and oftentimes print it off for free. This form is unique from the other 1095 forms, the 1095B and the 1095C, because in addition to listing who had coverage for the household throughout the year in the exchange, it also shows how much subsidy or advanced premium tax credit, APTC, it is a premium tax credit that is advanced to you that you got each year to help you pay for your plan monthly. An example of this would be, let's say you had a health plan through an exchange and your insurance provider, I don't know, whichever one, uh, let's call it Blue Shield, and the cost of health insurance is $1,000 a month. That's how much you had to pay just for your plan. Now, if you had mid or possibly even low income, you'd likely get some help through the exchange to pay for that plan. So even though the cost of the plan is $1,000 a month, which let's face it is very expensive, based on things like your household size, your income, your location, and your age, you could qualify for help or APTC, Advanced Premium Tax Credit, to bring down that cost to an affordable level. So again, you have a thousand dollar plan, but based on those four things, age, income, household size, and location, let's say you qualify for $500 a month of Advanced Premium Tax Credit, APTC, then that will mean that you end up paying $500 each month and you got $500 APTC for each month that you had it or if you do it for the year that is $6,000 in APTC that you received to help bring down the cost of your plan. So let's set that aside for a second. Additionally the 1095A form is a form that is used to check that you had health coverage at all and that it was credible 
And for the states that do still have a tax penalty for not having health insurance, and California is one of them, uh, it'll get you out of paying that penalty as well. Also, also, as a side note, uh, specifically for California in 2021, there was a tax form for the state taxes called FTB 3895, and I'll put a one up here. This one is used to show how much additional subsidy from the state, specifically California, somebody got in 2021. But since there is not a state subsidy this year for 2022, or last year, I suppose, um, because the federal pandemic aid kicked in and it was way more than the state was going to offer, so they didn't, um, this form is not going to be used for 2022, FTB 3895. All right, so with that out of the way, the 1095A shows who had health coverage through an exchange for which months and how much help a person got to pay for it, APTC. So let's talk about the next form that is equally important is the form 8962. This form is the one that brings the pain because it is a form that justifies your yearly income with how much tax credit APTC you got during the year. Now, real quick, I'll do a full video just on this 8962 uh, at some point here in the near future. But like I said before, in the example uh, where you have a $500 of monthly help or APTC that helps you pay down your $1,000 a month Blue Shield insurance cost, that APTC is based off four things, your age, your income, your household size, and your location. The biggest variables in those four tend to be your income and your household size, because these are the two things that change the most for most people throughout the year. Now, another issue with them is that the health exchange plan that you got based your monthly premium assistance or APTC or $500 in this case on an estimation made at the beginning of the year about how much money you think you will make by the end of the year and how many people you think will be on your taxes from the beginning of the year to the end of the year. This becomes a problem, for example, if you're a realtor or if you're self-employed or if you decide to pick up more work or <laughs> win that billion dollar lottery, your income goes up or it goes down and you may not know it until the very end of the year when you file your taxes and that's when the 8962 form comes in and gives you a whammy. So what the 8962 form does is it takes the information from your 1095A form and how much premium assistance you got throughout the year and then it justifies that against your income on your 1040 and figures out if the amount of APTC you did get throughout the year was right on the money, if it was too much, or if it was too little. So now the 8962 will show how much you need to pay back if you did have that windfall year, and uh, if your actual income was too high to get any of that financial help, or maybe even a portion of it, then uh, that 8962 will show that you owe back $500 worth of APTC for more example, times the number of months that you received it for. So if you received it for the full year and your income increased a lot, then the 8962 will show that you have to pay back the full $6,000 of your premium tax credit that was advanced to you. And that is always a rude awakening, but it does happen a lot. And I anticipate this year it'll happen a lot as people made a lot more money than they thought they were going to. Furthermore, if you had a change in your household, so maybe you had a divorce or you had children who moved out or are no longer on the taxes, or maybe you had a death in the family and your tax household shrank from maybe three people to two people, then that would also mean that you would have been getting too much subsidy for your household of three people when it was actually only two by the end of the year. And that excess assistance would also be taken out from your taxes and justified on that 8962. So for a real quick recap, the 1095A form is one that you get from the exchange, not from your health plan. This form indicates who got coverage, how long, and how much advanced premium tax credit or APTC or assistance that you got during the year. This form is used to create the 8962 form, which looks at your income and your household size primarily. and says whether or not the amount of subsidy was just right, where you don't have to pay anything back, if it was too much, in which case you have to pay some or all of it back, or conversely, if you got paid too little, if you got too little APTC, you might actually get some extra money back on your taxes as well. So that's an added benefit to that. So ultimately, it is the same amount of money, kind of whichever way you slice it up, it's just, you know, you don't get it till the end. Now, the next forms are going to be way easier, I promise. So let's talk about the 1095B and the 1095C. These forms are similar to a 1095A, but they don't have the money component to them. There's no assistance APTC calculated into it. So let's start with the 1095B. 1095B is a form that is for folks who had coverage through a government health plan. So things like a Medicare or a Medicaid, Medi-Cal, VA, maybe TRICARE or other versions of government run health plans. This form is not usually sent out to the beneficiary because it's auto filed by the government program with the IRS. 
Um, but sometimes they do ask for it or it gets lost in the mail or in the transfer or whatever. So they may ask for it sometimes. And this form basically just shows who had coverage and for which months, which again, will get you out of the tax penalty in those states that still have them. Um, so it's really kind of that easy. It just shows who had it and for how long. Lastly is the 1095C. Now this version of the 1095 form is meant for people who get health coverage through their work or who had had coverage through their work. This form is similar to the 1095B in the fact that it shows who had coverage and for how long, but also shows who was offered coverage, like dependents or the employee if they had declined it because the employer does have to offer coverage, some employers, whether the employees want it or not. Again, this form is used when you file your tax to show that you had coverage to avoid penalties where they exist. And it is usually available if you talk to your human resources or health benefits administrator. Also, if you had multiple jobs throughout the year, you might have multiple of these forms from each of the different jobs that you had. Or if you and your spouse have one, you could all have different 1095 C's for each of you. So overall, 1095 forms, well, for the states that don't have a penalty, they're really primarily just a way to track who had coverage. Um, because technically, even though there is a federal tax penalty for not having health insurance, it's bottomed out at zero dollars. So it does exist, but it's only zero dollars. In the case of the 1095A, it shows how much assistance somebody got during the year and it is a way for the IRS and the state and the government to make sure that you paid the right amount uh, according to the Affordable Care Act for your coverage throughout the year and to make sure it's affordable. But it's that 8962 form that catches a lot of folks off guard. And really, it is super important during the year. If you have a plan through a health exchange that uh, obviously base your subsidy on your income and your household size, if you have changes in your income and household size, it's important to make those changes with the exchange so they know so at the end of the year when you file this 8962, you don't get hit with a big whammy and have to pay back tons of money. Inversely, if you don't and you made less money, you know, then you get that money back in addition. So that that's, you know, kind of one way or the other. All right, so that's it for today. And I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, if you found it interesting, if you found it helpful, or hey, if you at least found it useful, please don't forget to like and subscribe. That way you can get notified when our newest and most informative videos become available. So for Michael's Matters, I'm Michael, hoping that you take care of yourself, take care of others, and have a happy, healthy.